thing that you can do, I mean, the written material is brilliant, and I want to talk to you guys about writing for that character, but the thing that you do that blows me away is the interviews, because you're doing the interviews in character. Mm -hmm. and, and it brings to mind the old line about Ginger Rogers, that she did, every, she did everything that Fred Rogers did. Fred Astaire did it back in the Fred Rogers. Man, Fred Rogers. <laughs> She danced and she did the voice for all the puppets in the kingdom. <laughs> right. no. She did everything the Fred Astaire did. I love back flying down the meow meow. Well, <laughs> But you do these interviews, which all of us have to do well or poorly, but you do it in character. And, and how hard is that? Uh, uh, in some ways it's easier because I get away with saying things that uh, a person wouldn't because I thought that was my character, that wasn't me. But what, what we do is we, we kind of pre-enact it with, uh, with the writers. Uh, a couple people are signed every day. When we first started off, it was Tom every day, but then a couple people every day uh, come in, having done a little research on who the person is, or read part of their book, or something like that. Um, unlike John Stewart, I have not read a page. <laughs> and, and I knew I could never catch up with John, who reads everything, so like, I won't read anything. And and they have uh, they each have like uh, 10, 15 questions, or 15 to 20 questions. I read through them, and, I, and, and we have a little discussion. And as I read through them, I read through them sort of in character, and we do a little back and forth with each other as to what they might say mm -hmm. to kind of get me into the rhythm of what a conversation with this person might be like on this subject. And then uh, they're on cards for me, and then um, if it works really well, I hit like two or three of those in the course of it, and the rest of it is just sort of improvis improvisationally responsive to what the person is doing. It's, it's improvisation, and, and some days it's my favorite part of the show, especially if we've had really good jokes that I've fucked up. <laughs> but that, that's the thing. These guys write great jokes, and I can often fuck them up. But improv is discovery, and so I'm prepared for the idea of it. Um, but the moment is improvised. You told me something again, uh, and I've noticed it since you told me that the hardest interviews for you to do are the people that you, Stephen Colbert, actual person, actually admire, because your character doesn't. And right, want... or 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 he is so <laughs> ignorant. <laughs> If I like the person's subject, I'm, I'm, I get so jealous of Jon Stewart who gets to be keen on their subject, but right. I can't. Right. I cannot pronounce Iraq correctly with Christian Amanpour. Right. I have to say Iraq. <laughs> you have to accuse her of being on America. Yes, exactly. Right. I can't really know anything about um, astronomy with Neil deGrasse Tyson. Right. I can't actually uh, necessarily be that knowledgeable of uh, Comparative uh, religion, you know, with a with a, a religious philosopher or something. I have to be dumb. <laughs> <laughs>